for sharing you all. <laughs> and I echo his sentiments, um, thanking all board members and all sponsors. Um, the sponsors really came through for us this year. Uh, and I'm hoping they can recommit for next year because we won't want to have to remake another banner. <laughs> we'll make an extra one for additional sponsors, so please come again next year. <laughs> I have a call to action right now for everyone in this room. Can you please take out your phones? Knowledge is power. One of my goals at EPI has been to make sure our communities understand what is going on. And so I'm asking you to please, right now, follow us on social media. So click that follow and like button and share to make sure people are getting the information they need. And then I hope you sign up for our newsletter as well. And today, if you want to share about what you learned here today, share hashtag, hashtag hold the line, hashtag 25 years of progress, Hashtag, I had a great time. Uh, and talents. <laughs> this year, we introduced a Youth Speak Up for Equity and Justice Showcase with a $1,000 prize generously sponsored by the Muse Foundation of Rhode Island. Thanks to our judges, we selected a winner. And disclaimer, I was not a judge. I did not influence the decision. The judges did not even know who the other judges were, but we came up with a winner. And I'm pleased to announce Angelise Rias, a Rhode Island College student, as the winner of the 2024 EPI Youth Showcase for Equity and Justice. generation Afro-Latina studying art history and finance at Rhode Island College. She is a multimedia artist and music fanatic. Her work is rooted in honoring her ancestors and the women that have come before her to build healing spaces for community and connection. Annalise could not be here today because she is actually studying abroad in Puerto Rico. But she has sent a video message with her submission. <laughs> 